Stan, I'm looking ahead to this weekend's trip to Fleetwood. Um, you've hit quite a decent run of form over the last few matches. You must be really pleased to be back in the goals, back in the assists and, and sort of firing all, on all cylinders. Yeah, I'm so happy that obviously I got my goal on Saturday. Um, I think I just needed something to fall for me or for myself to create something for for that to happen. And now, now that's gone in, I think what I can do is just keep adding to that and keep bringing goals and assists to the team. That fifth goal against Accrington was, of course, in front of the big bank. I, I imagine that's probably the most special one you've scored yet. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think it, it meant everything to me. I think it was a long time coming. Um, and I would have wished to do it earlier in the season so I could score many more. But um, but now for it to come to come then, and obviously we had a big game on Tuesday night, and I got another one there. Um, and I just need to keep building on that. And obviously we've got a big couple of games coming up soon, Plymouth being one of them. Um, so yeah, it's just all, all smiles at the moment. Yeah. Your two most recent goals have come in, in sort of a similar position where you've been been out wide on the left, sort of towards the byline, and and cut in. I mean, it's probably a role we've not seen you in too much this season, sort of drifting out towards the left. Is uh, that something that sort of Gary has, has spoke to you about in the last few weeks? Yeah, I think um, obviously I'm learning a new position, playing as a number ten. I think it's sort of the same as a number nine, but you need different attributes to be able to to deliver on, on a match day. I think um, sort of giving me not really a free a free role, um, but it was different different both games. I think. Um, Saturday I made I made a run from from a number nine position, and then Tuesday I started out wide and sort of made the same run. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's been good. It obviously was a, a bit of a gap between you know the last goal and the one at the weekend, but um, you, you never seemed to your work rate never seemed to drop in that period. It, it was simply just a matter of, of not scoring a goal. What's going through your head over the, that? that couple of months period because you didn't it didn't seem like you'd lost confidence it just felt like you just needed one to go in yeah um no i think on the pitch i might have looked okay and and fine but um at home and around around the training ground and things i was i wasn't down but i was quite quite upset and quite not putting putting myself down but i think as as a striker um you have to score goals to keep stay in the team and to help the team win. Um, I think I went, I went ten games where I didn't score, and I was struggling a bit in lo like losing energy, losing confidence in the games, and not I wasn't shying away because I was obviously trying my best for the team. But I think people might have seen me crossing it instead of shooting, when actually the best option was probably shot or was to shoot. Um, but I said like if, if I scored the game before and that opportunity come for me, I would have put it in the back of the net. Um, and I think from from Saturday, if anything else falls to me like it has in the last 23 games, I'm putting it in the back of the net. I think goals are the main part of a forward and if you haven't scored in 23 games, your confidence obviously is going to be down. Um, but I think it was just, I was just showing that it wasn't affecting me too much um, on the pitch and I was just trying my best and hopefully something would fall full for me and luckily it did on Saturday. Uh, and given the, the, the previous goal, I think when you set up Harry Kite for that second one, I think we were expecting you to, to cut in and have another shot again. I mean, what did Gary say to you in this period and the other coaches? I think you said to the others that, that he yeah. gave you a book to read that sort of boosted you a bit. Yeah, um, I've said, <laughs> said never since school I've not, re not read and I'm on page 105 now. So, um, yeah, the book, the book that he gave me just gave me confidence and he said that good things come from, from when he's read it before. Um, I think he said he read it and got a couple of jobs and new jobs come up and everything started to be uh, okay again. So um, he pulled me in after the MK Dons game. I think I came on and couldn't affect the game as much as I wanted to and put myself down a little bit and I come in Monday and he gave me, he gave me this book and I don't normally read at all and I can't read whatsoever. but. I've stuck at it and tried to read it, and he said in the end something will will come good from it, and and it has. On to Fleetwood this weekend. I, I, in terms of the league table, with no disrespect to ourselves or Fleetwood, it's probably the only game left this season where when neither side has really got anything riding on it in terms of relegation or promotion, because there's, there's a big period of games coming up which we'll get onto. 
Uh, what do you expect from Fleetwood this weekend? Um, I think the same as what they come when they were at home. I think a big physical team um, look to get around us and, and try and bully us. But I think we just need to step up to the fight that we did on Saturday and Tuesday and, and match that fight and then our qualities will come out after. Looking at their previous form as well, they've just beaten Derby, we've just beaten Barnsley. It's these sides in that middle portion of the table that, that will have, I think, a lot to do with where teams finish in the top six. Yeah, I think um, we're both in a good position where we can go out and play with freedom. Um, obviously, both gaffers will set a game plan to go out and win the game, but I think players can go out and play with their freedom and show everyone what they're about because we're in the middle of the table and I think... The point, points are obviously massive wherever, wherever you are on the table, but I think the pressure's probably not as big as if we were 19th. Um, we're in a great position and we're trying to win as many games to finish as high as possible. There's only a few games left until the end of the season when, when your loan spell comes to an end. Um, for you, it's now you found yourself back in form, is this almost like a a mini season of its own just for you that to to just finish on a high? Yeah, for sure. I think um obviously I'm the last game of the season is gonna be quite tough, I think. Um I've loved every moment here and it's been it's it's been amazing to be honest. I think um coming here was gonna I thought it was gonna be tough, um and it has been tough. It's, we've obviously had our ups and downs as a team and me individually, I think um but yeah if it, Starting from Saturday, I think from now on it's just going to be my, my season started again on Saturday um, and I've just got everything to prove and show all the fans what I'm really about and everyone else about how many goals I can score, how many assists um, and then come to the last game of the season, obviously I'd be probably quite upset but um, but now I've obviously still got nine games left, like eight games left so I'm just going to enjoy every moment I have, have, have left it. Well, you're more than welcome to stay another season. <laughs> um, just, just quickly to end, just going back to what you said about Gary and, and giving you that book, do you think he's brought out the best of you as a player? Yeah, 100%. I think um, just giving me the confidence and being able to handle me as a person and understanding the ups and downs. And obviously, it's not going to, I knew the journey wasn't going to be easy and obviously I knew there would be ups and downs but um, like I said as a forward I know it's not all about goals but you hit like 23 games there's a lot of a lot of games not to score in um, and I look back at it now and I think like I don't know how I haven't scored um, and it's just down to my decision making and, and things like that but that's obviously something I've come here to learn um, and that's the, nat the nature of the game I think um, but yeah he's been a, a big help and just keep him just keep him me level, I think, just not going obviously too high when the highs are up and too low when obviously I was struggling a little bit with, with my form and that. So, yeah, it's a big thank you to him for helping me get through a tough period of my career, I'd say. Um, obviously, my first loan and not scoring as many goals as I want to, but for him to help me and still have faith in me and play me nearly every game is obviously a big credit to him and the whole coaching staff for having the faith in me.